And, you know, during the worst days of our crime crisis, it was kind of like being a criminal in Albuquerque. It was like being a kid in a candy store. Unless you are the younger fella who broke into Buffett Candies just yesterday. Megan Abundis gives us a sweet look at the suspect who found himself in a bunch of sticky situations. It's a special place, not only to Tyler Buffett and the multi-generations of his family, but to the rest of our community too. So all the stuff that we have on this side, it's our pinion candy, it's what we're known for. Buffett Candies on Lomas has been around for a long time. Next year will be 65 years. So he and his family know what hard work looks like, sweet from bitter and right from wrong. I think for anybody who's raised the right way, you know, something's not yours, you don't steal it. Um, it's just really frustrating in a time like we are in right now, it seems like you're hearing it, we're all in this together and then you see somebody clearly doesn't care. That would be this guy who broke into the store Wednesday. You kind of see over here, right up there, the uh, the hole that the rock went through. I'm pretty sure he came over from this side, kind of walked like no problem up here, saw that there was a window that he could easily break into. So he turned around, got a rock from underneath that tree, came back, threw it through the window. But we don't have the smartest criminals in Albuquerque. Watch closely. Kind of gets a running start, goes in, misses the first time, almost hits himself. <laughs> I still think that's pretty funny that he missed. But yeah, then he succeeds and he just hops right in. In here, that's the other side of this uh, window. And he just hopped in. There was glass all over the floor. The guy immediately went for the register. They're always empty. But what about the candy? Yeah, he didn't take any candy. I would think if I'm breaking into a candy store, I might take something to eat on my way out. But, you know, it just goes to show that he wasn't thinking straight. So the candy shop fared out pretty well, but how could you not take that candy? The manager says he'll add more security measures so this won't happen again. If you see that guy, call APD. I'm Megan Abundis.